Here is our starting node. The dots above and below the node indicate it has two parents and three children. Clicking down on the node pops up a marking menu. Dragging up and releasing reveals the parents. Clicking down again, we drag down and release to reveal the children. The marking menu can be operated quickly with upward and downward flicks to expand ancestors and descendants. Nodes are ordered vertically by generation, with lower rows being more recent. Colors indicate gender. The arrangement of nodes we have now is an hourglass chart, with a node in the center, a tree of ancestors above, and a tree of descendants below. These two trees could be extended indefinitely, but many nodes related to the central node, such as cousins, would never be revealed. An alternative to the hourglass chart would be to show all nodes within some radius of the central node, but this leads to exponential crowding and edge crossings. As a compromise, we propose a dual tree arrangement, where we still show two trees, but the roots of the trees can be offset with respect to each other. The dual tree scheme allows us to expand downward from an ancestor. Expanding downward from a different ancestor causes subtrees to rotate and certain nodes to be collapsed. We can also expand upward from a descendant. The dual tree is always displayed with a tree of ancestors on the left extending upward and a tree of descendants on the right extending downward. Again, expanding in certain directions causes rotation and collapsing of nodes to maintain the dual tree scheme. The edges of the dual tree are shown in black and never cross each other. For convenience, some additional edges are shown in gray to make nuclear families more apparent. For example, these nodes are all connected to their mother and father. These nodes, however, all have this father, but not all of them have gray edges to this node because some of them are half siblings with a different mother. Expanding upward from one of them reveals this mother. We now collapse some nodes using the marking menus. To quickly reveal or hide many levels of a tree, we can invoke a special pop-up widget for expanding or collapsing subtrees in a single drag. Clicking with the right mouse button pops up this subtree dragout widget. An initial drag on this widget selects either the tree of ancestors or tree of descendants for the node. We drag down slightly to select the tree of descendants. Now the widget indicates how many levels we can drag up or down. The first two levels down are shaded in to indicate that they are already partially expanded. Dragging down, we can reveal the tree one level at a time. Without letting go of the mouse button, we can also drag up, collapsing one level at a time. Releasing over the origin of the widget leaves the tree unchanged. Similarly, on this node, we can invoke the same widget, drag down slightly to select the tree of descendants, and control it the same way. We can also invoke the widget, drag up slightly, and then control the tree of ancestors for the node, revealing levels or collapsing them. Let's use this widget to reveal some recent descendants, and then invoke the widget again to reveal ancestors of one node. If we decide we've expanded too far, we can collapse a few levels of ancestors. We can now expand down from another node, causing a rotation. Now we hit a hotkey to collapse everything but this node, Raj Shah, and we'll turn off the displaying of years. Invoking the subtree dragout widget, we can expand all ancestors of this node in a single drag. The oldest paternal ancestor is here, from which we can drag down. We now see that the dual tree scheme allows us to simultaneously see all of Rod Shah's ancestors, along with all other nodes with the surname Shah. We'll now demonstrate some alternative ways of laying out a dual tree. If labels are wide and short, it's sometimes nicer to rotate the labels 90 degrees, and then perhaps rotate the whole tree 90 degrees. Marking menus and the subtree dragout widget work as before, but are reoriented. Another variation in layout is inspired by the use of indentation and outline style trees. Again, the widgets are reoriented.